What's good, YouTube? It's Mario Boy back in another video. Let's just talk about what the heck just happened in the German Nationals in the finals overnight. So it was Labyrinth versus Cash Tira. Obviously, this is a ginormous tournament along the scale of YCS because there were nearly 2,000 players and a top 32 cutoff. So Cash Tira and Labyrinth in the finals. Game three, down to the crucial moment, is a little anticlimactic to say the least. And for those of you guys that haven't seen it, Essentially, the Labyrinth player eradicated the Castier player, but I'm, see I'm sure you guys have already seen this because it's everywhere on social media. So what happened was the lovely Labyrinth was summoned off a big welcome Labyrinth and when Chainlink wanted to destroy a card in his opponent's hand because the Ariana that was previously on board was bounced to hand, and then Chainlink to Eradicator, which ended up being a devastating Eradicator that actually ripped out five spell cards from the cash carrier player's hand. And then the last card that was destroyed when the chain link resolved off of Lovely Labyrinth was the last remaining Fenrir. So essentially the game ended there on the spot. And it was very, very anticlimactic, but a little shocking, I think, to the player base, to the demographic, showing how crazy the Eradicator is as a card because this is a card that has not been errata, guys. Like, think about it. We're talking about a card that rivals the effect of Crush card previously, except it's only for spells and traps, which is arguably even stronger in modern day Yu-Gi-Oh, especially because of the fact we have a lot of spell cards as extenders in non-engine, which are powerful, like Triple Tactics Talent, other field spells, you know, you Cash Tier Burst, so on and so forth, uh, the pot cards. So this card is a little broken and I'm sure a lot of people are asking, you know, should this card be banned? I see there's a lot of chatter online asking if this is a card that is worth being banned by Konami. And personally, I think the answer is yes, but not because of this finals. But I think this card is a type of bad card design and you can't really fault Konami me for this because this card is very old. It's from Force of Breaker, which is like over 10 years old, guys, okay? <laughs> like... You can't fault them for designing a card like this when previously we had viruses that were stronger than this because it was designed with the huge restriction that you required a dark monster with 2,500 or more attack, which is a very, very hard monster to put on the board previously. Like before synchros, think about it, it was really, really hard. Even with synchros, you had to really invest and easily make a synchro monster which was not very easy back in the day because typically making a synchro monster even on turn one sometimes a little awkward a little hard um and then having the eradicator hard and drawn and setting it and using it and the game was a lot slower so like over three turns it didn't really matter as much there were a lot more powerful monsters back in the day it wasn't all spell cards or trap cards like we have archetypes today so it was a lot more balanced back in the day uh you can kind of survive and sometimes just play through it you're not guaranteed to draw a spell or a trap in any given deck back in the day unless it's like a burn deck right guys but nowadays like we were talking about every card is a spell card extender because spells are just like cards you can instantly activate with no drawback and the game has devolved to the point where the best decks are essentially one card engines and the rest are like spell card starters that search for that one card um parentheses s the cards <laughs> that can give you that same result or non-engine cards that allow you to uh, stop your opponent or like gain advantage over your opponent. So like the pot cards for consistency, triple tactics, talent to rip a hand, so on and so forth, stuff like that. And for me, the grueling part of all of this is that we come back to the tribute that's one dark monster with 2,500 more attack. And guys, it's like it's so easy now in modern day Yu-Gi-Oh, especially, you know, like with Link monsters, with ginormous monsters we can special summon, especially in the Labyrinth deck, like the ladies, you can just reveal and summon. Back in my day, we had to tribute summon for a summon skull, and that took like three or four turns, okay? This is just something you can enable easily on turn one in like basically every deck. We can go into XYZs, we can go into Synchros, we can go to Link monsters, we can go to Fusion monsters, and everything nowadays, for some reason, is dark, apparently, and they have more than 2,500 attack. Like, Branded is easy to to get any dark fusion monster on board like mirror jade whatever if we won branded fusion you don't even need branded fusion cartesia labyrinth you summon a lady uh cash Tira, you can xyz you can xyz easily into a rank seven like a big eye or like a raid raptor xyz that's also a dark with 2500 or more and still get the effects in addition to that so just a free body tribute there's so many decks that can easily make this accessible and all a player really has to do is side in three copies going first and then activate this and it's like a derp Blanket effect. Again, blanket effects are broken in Yu-Gi-Oh. There should not be effects that say, do this for the next turn, never mind the next three turns. You get to look at your opponent's hand for one thing, get free information. You get to destroy all those cards that you call, which is crazy, because there are a lot of either spells or traps nowadays. You get to look at the next three cards that they draw 
which is crazy because like, or the next two cards, I guess, but like, like it, it just doesn't make a lot of sense because you get to see the cards they draw and also destroy those if they are cards, spell cards that would normally allow a player to potentially crawl back into the game and have a fighting chance after the virus is resolved. Nope, those are getting destroyed immediately. And if not, then that card is getting revealed to your opponent so they can see exactly what you drew for turn and play around that and be prepared for it. So for me, I feel like cards like this should be banned because the game has devolved to the state where like cards like this are especially broken. And in Labyrinth, you can search this off of Big Lady. So it's even like more broken because you can search it and then you don't have to wait a turn. If you have access to Ku Clock or any way to search it or any way to get it on board, you send it to the graveyard and then you can activate the Eradicator instantly. So it's like, a f it's almost like a card that's basically no skill. As you saw in the finals there, the Castor player had no interaction. There was no way he could have possibly done anything different besides like side out a bunch of spell cards, but you can't even do that because like your side decks are not meant to be playing around this one card, right? So for him, it's just like really, really, there's nothing you can do. You're just like, yeah, this game, you know? <laughs> like he realized it was a game and like so did the rest of the audience when you eradicate her and you hit like, even if you hit like two or three cards, this is still a crazy trade because you're ripping half of your opponent's hand, you're getting the knowledge. The game is probably ending. It didn't have to be five cards there. It could have been like two or three cards and that might have been enough. Because we still had like a bunch of other back row. We still had the Lady Labyrinth destroying a card. We had a lot of follow-up. So even if like the Cash Tripla was able to put up some semblance of a board, it would have gotten wrecked on the, pre on the following turn with like the Labyrinth plays generically making Chaos Angels, so on and so forth, setting traps, even Floodgates, even one goes match would have been game, right? So like... For me, I personally think, not to ramble any further, but this is a card that should not be in the game. It should be banned, along with any other card that has a potential blanket effect, quote unquote, especially the viruses. Like even deck devastation virus could potentially be very broken one day. If we had a metagame that was 100% super heavy samurai and very, very based, think about it. Deck dev would have destroyed that deck and destroyed all of the cards in that, uh, in that deck because they're under 1500 attack. So again, and also the three three effects, the three turns as well, uh, like we talked about, it's the same kind of thing with Eradicator, just looking at your opponent's hand. Even Crush Card was like insane, obviously, but they nerfed that, so that's a little more forgiving because you can destroy monsters from your deck, so it has like a, a massive drawback now, so it's basically unplayable. But like these older viruses that have not been eroded, and I hope they don't, I hope they just print new viruses with restrictions. I hate it when they eradicate cards, but that's besides the point. It's just like, these cards are still no restrictions. They're based on the old, you know, the old Yu-Gi-Oh! where like tributing a monster with 2,000 more attack was actually like hard to get, hard to achieve. But now these cards are just like, in my opinion, they're just really, really broken. I think they should all go, especially Eradicator because there's so many spell cards that are extenders. The game is basically all, all spell card non-engine nowadays. So I would prefer that this card just goes, uh, I, I don't know if I said it before, but like this card was always, in my opinion, pretty broken, even though no one really played it because at the time there wasn't really easy ways to facilitate it or like a lot of players didn't know about it. But nowadays in like Labyrinth, even in Branded, so on and so forth, like all those decks, you can all side this in. So personally, I think this card should go. Um, but yeah, well, what do you guys think? I'm curious to hear what your opinions are on this card. Was this card a card that's necessary to keep powerful spell cards and meta decks in check or is it a card that you agree with me should be banned and should not be in the face of the earth let me know below in the comments other than that subscribe rate comment and i'll see you guys in the next video um yeah i'm not looking forward to seeing more eradicator at euros in the wcq for na but hey you never know we'll uh, hopefully see it more on stream and then you know maybe konami will be forced to ban it <laughs> anyways i'll see you guys in the next video Bye bye